Today we're going to take a look at Rockwood micrometers that are available at Eastwood and show you how easy it is to use them. Let's check them out. There are three sizes here, zero to one inch, one to two inch, and two to three inch. Micrometers only adjust one inch, so the one to two inch tool comes with a one inch gauge block and the two to three inch version comes with a two inch gauge block. The throat depths are 15 sixteenths, one and a quarter, and one and five eighths. They've hardened mirror polished carbide anvil and spindle faces for precision work. This kit comes with an adjustment wrench in case the tool would need calibrating. Each micrometer is accurate to one thousandth of an inch and have a ratchet knob for adjustments that prevents over tightening of the thimble and maintains the accuracy of the tool. Now let's show you how to use them. First, let's go over the parts that make up a micrometer. This is the frame, anvil, spindle, lock lever, sleeve, thimble, and ratchet knob. When fully open, it measures up to three inches with each number on the sleeve equaling one tenth of an inch or to be more precise, 100 thousandths. The small lines break these into quarters, equaling 0.025 or 25 thousandths of an inch. So if we set the tool to exactly one half inch, with the zero on the thimble lined up with the five, we are now measuring half an inch or 500 thousandths. If we turn it to the first line, we've added 25 thousandths and we are now reading 525 thousandths. The next line would be 550 thousandths then 575 thousandths. Another turn puts us at six tenths or precisely 600 thousandths. The tool can measure even more precisely by using the gauge on the thimble as well. The numbers on the thimble represent every five thousandth. If we turn the thimble one complete revolution, you can see the five, 10, 15, 20, and then finally back to zero, which gives us 25 thousandths. We're now at 625 thousandths. You may have noticed the thimble also has two sets of lines, a smaller line, which should only be used for reference, and the longer line, which reads in thousandths and is what we'll be using for this measurement. So we're now starting at 625 thousandths. Let's say the part we're measuring has a micrometer set at this position, which now reads 642 thousandths. To get here, simply add the numbers. We have the 600 on the sleeve, plus the 25 on the sleeve, giving us 625 thousandths. We now move on to the thimble. We pass the 15 by two big lines, giving us 17. So we now add 17 to the 625, and we arrive at 642 thousandths of an inch. If the die block is installed, we're measuring 642 thousandths. Without the die block, you have to add two inches, so we're then measuring two and 642 thousandths. It's that easy. I realize that typically you'd be tightening the tool in the object you're measuring, but for explanation purposes and because I thought it was easier to understand if we were adding, I was moving it outwards. And here's a tip. Always remember to use the ratcheting screw to move the thimble in and out because it prevents over tightening and maintains the precision you need. You will hear it click when it's tight in ratchets, letting you know it's as tight as it will go. Now I hope this helps show how easy it is to use a micrometer. If you're doing precision work and you're looking for a quality micrometer, which is great for most automotive applications, click the link to visit eastwood.com and check out our Rockwood Micrometer Kit. And remember, not only does Eastwood offer precision tools like this, we also carry everything you need when restoring a car, truck, or motorcycle, like welders and plasma cutters, paint guns, soda and abrasive blasters, hand tools, powder coating guns and supplies, and just about everything in between.